What's up people, it's King Dub the 7th, and as you all may know, yesterday the Destiny 2 gameplay reveal was shown to us, and we got a chance to see a lot of new, like, cool new story uh, cutscenes and story missions. Well, not a lot of new story missions, but we got a chance to see the direction of where the story is going. But after that, what happened was we got a chance to look at a lot of information about Destiny 2. Sadly, I wasn't able to get my hands on the game because I'm not a big YouTuber. Hopefully that changes one day. And I also don't like taking gameplay from others. It's just not right. But I did get a lot of cool information. So I'd be glad to share that with you. So there have been a lot of new features that have been added to Destiny 2. First of all, matchmaking. Not matchmaking in terms of crucible matchmaking, but something called guided games that Bungie is putting into Destiny 2. Where before, if you did things like the Vault of Glass, or you did things like Nightfalls or Raids, if you didn't have friends, you were out of luck. Like, you, you just couldn't do Raids. But now with the guided game system, you're able to like matchmake with clans who may need extra players like there are times in destiny 1 where my clan would have to do vault of glass with only four or five players because we didn't have that many clan members so now with the with the guided game system in destiny 2 if we needed any extra blueberries on our team thanks to the matchmaking system we could get some extra help also Clans actually mean something now apparently. There is a new clan system. I don't have much information about the new clan system, but apparently clans mean a lot more than they did before. There's also a map uh, when you're on planet so you actually know where you're going. Like before, if you had to go to, let's say you were on Earth and you had to go to like the rocket yards, but you didn't know exactly where that was, now you have a map of where you need to go and the best way to get to the rocket yards. There is also no need to go to orbits. This is pretty awesome because it cuts down on a lot of the loading screen problems that we had before. With Because of the fact that we don't have to go to orbit anymore, we don't have to go back to the tower, everything we can do, we can do from the planet that we're on. So we can turn in bounties, we can get bounties I'm assuming. All of that you can do from the planet that you're on. You can also even go from planet to planet without having to go to orbit. And also, apparently, which is hard, like, it's hard to tell. But even from what we saw in the gameplay trailer, there's supposed to be a better story. Now, that's easy to say. Like, it's without any proof. Like, I could, just, I could tell you, tomorrow I'm going to upload a better video than this. But we need to see it to believe it, Bungie. Uh, something that I dislike, Crucible has been changed from... 6v6 to all moves will now be 4v4 this for me kind of sucks because of the fact that uh personally i personally play when i play destiny i usually had five people on my fire team four to five people on my fire team now what am i supposed to do now am i supposed to i don't know just like somebody's just gonna be out of luck rock paper scissors for the last two spots but I guess the reason why you'd want to do this is it'll be less of a CF in the matches. There'll be less of a cluster in the matches and the matches may be more competitive. Like it might be easier to communicate and things like that. I don't know. I guess that'll be, I guess the whole point of that is to help with the competitive scene for uh, Destiny, but who knows. Also I have heard mixed rumors for the frames per second. And uh, Destiny 2 on console, on PC, which a lot of people may not know, but Destiny has teamed, Bungie has teamed with uh, with the Blizzard developing team, and Destiny will be on the Blizzard app when it's on PC. On PC, Destiny will run 60 frames per second and higher, but on console, Destiny might still be 30 frames per second. Which, in my opinion, Destiny has always been the smoothest running 30 frames per second game. So I personally don't care, but a lot of people I know will be very disappointed about that. Especially with the power of the consoles like the, uh, the Xbox Scorpio that is soon to come out and the PlayStation 4 Pro. I don't, I don't really understand why Destiny 2 couldn't be 60 frames per second on those consoles. But if they're not 60 frames per second, then I won't be too upset. Also, 
for more uh, detail on the PC version of Destiny, one thing that I heard is that you'll be able to use the same save file on PS4. You'll be able to transfer that save file back and forth between PS4 and PC. They've also added a new currency. Apparently, you have a currency, you have the Glimmer, which is still Glimmer. You have another currency called Strange Dust that is described as remnants of a powerful of powerful items of the past uh, used to improve or trade for other items. So I guess that's something you could use to upgrade your items or trade for other items in the game. I guess more like powerful exotic weapons. Uh, I have not heard any information on Xur. Apparently the Warlock, uh, the Warlock has gotten a new, uh, a new class and also apparently the jump has been improved. So for those of you who are familiar with the Warlock jump on Destiny 1, a lot of people complain that it was slow. Personally, I didn't think it was too slow depending on how you used it. If you tried to go straight up, then of course it would be pretty slow. But if you used it uh, horizontal as opposed to vertically, I thought it was pretty. It could be used as being pretty quick, but that has that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of pretty big Destiny 2 news. I'm very excited for the game. I plan on definitely making a uh, Warlock. I don't know if I'm going to make a Hunter, but I might. And I'm definitely going to try not to make a titan also also something something i forgot so you remember how there used to be uh secondary primary and heavy that's no longer the uh slots that you have for items and now the slots that you have for items goes as following you have kinetic energy weapons for those of you who don't know what kinetic energy kinetic energy is basically like physical bullets it's like uh it's, it's basically a bullet whereas if you have energy weapons like uh that'll be like a laser beam or something like that like a like a fusion rifle will be in uh will be an energy weapon but something like a uh like a hand cannon or auto rifle that would be in uh that would be in kinetic energy and then you also have the power weapons now power weapons would be things like your heavy machine guns would be things like your rocket launcher but now your old secondary items you know like the shotgun and the sniper and maybe the fusion rifle will be here too i haven't seen fusion rifles in the game yet but your shotgun and your snipers are now power weapons so you'll now get to use shotguns and snipers less and you'll also have to choose between do i want to use a heavy machine gun a shotgun, a sniper, or a rocket launcher. This is going to make things very hard. The meta is going to be very, very interesting for when Destiny is out. Me personally, I think that that will end up meaning that the, uh, I think that the sniper and the shotgun especially, I think the shotgun might be taken out or used less than it was before as opposed to the heavy machine gun on the rocket launcher and they also added a uh, grenade launcher to the game and hopefully they added other weapons but as of so far there are no new like characters like besides hunter warlock and titan there's no other new character you can use so far um they added new ships but so far i haven't seen space flight uh but what i have seen in the crucible matches that i had there was this I play Destiny 1 a lot, but I don't remember this being in the game. There is this like new game mode, kind of like Search and Destroy that you play in Call of Duty, where you try to defuse a rift or something like that, and it's elimination, so you'd either kill all of the other team or defuse a rift to win. There's been a lot of new additions to this game. I'm super excited for Destiny 2. Let me know what you're most excited for out of the list of things that you've heard in this video. This is Kingdom the 7th signing off. Peace.